New research reveals that Canadian boomers have work to do when it comes to managing the risks of high blood pressure. A recent survey from Hypertension Canada reveals why aging Canadians may unknowingly be contributing to the prevalence of this dangerous condition. Dr. Joseph Kozak, a Toronto-based general practitioner, explains. In my 30 years as a family physician, I've had to tell some people that uh, they have high blood pressure, hypertension. And one of the things we go over is their uh, lifestyle, and we find that uh, they're not having a healthy lifestyle. Dr. Kozak also says that Canadians need to do a better job of meeting guidelines for exercise and healthy eating. It seems simple, but based on new survey results, Canadians are failing in this department despite best intentions. Sharon Brett was diagnosed with hypertension several years ago and has this to say about her experience. I lead a busy life. I, I work full time. I look after three seniors and it isn't always easy to work in the things I should be doing to look after my, my hypertension. I do exercise when I can. We eat healthy, but it isn't always enough. As Dr. Sheldon Tobe from Hypertension Canada explains, research shows it's clear many Canadians are struggling with similar issues. The survey showed that over 80% of Canadians feel that they are following a healthy lifestyle. And yet, the other questions reveal that that's not exactly the case. In fact, for exercise, less than half of Canadians are meeting the requirements um, for enough exercise, uh, which is moderate exercise of 150 minutes per week, doing something, for example, like vigorous walking. For consumption of fresh fruits and vegetables, less than half of Canadians are having even three or four uh, portions of fresh fruits and vegetables per day when they should be having seven or eight. Similarly for sodium intake, um, less than half of Canadians even know how much sodium should be in their diet and although there's greater interest in looking at labels, we're still not there yet in reducing the amount of salt in our diet. Uncontrolled high blood pressure or hypertension is a leading cause of heart disease and stroke. In Canada we're doing a really good job keeping blood pressure under control and now it's time to continue to do that work, but also to look at preventing hypertension from occurring. Hypertension Canada has created a simple guideline to help Canadians like Sharon Brett start fighting hypertension. Make smart food choices, such as choosing at least seven to eight servings of fresh or frozen vegetables each day. Talk to a healthcare professional about preventing or managing hypertension. Active living means accumulating 30 to 60 minutes of moderate intensity exercise four to seven days per week. Reduce sodium by making meals with unprocessed food, reducing the amount of salt used in cooking and reading food labels. Take control by talking to your doctor about how to stay compliant with your medications. Visit www.hypertension.ca for other ways you can start fighting hypertension. Martin Vanderwood reporting.